Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen. Today we are diving into a fascinating problem that uh, combines binary search with a greedy approach. Uh, number 2616, minimize the maximum difference of pi from lead code. So by the end of this session, you will have a deep understanding of the solution and new appreciation for these powerful techniques. So let's jump right in. All right, here is our challenge. We have an array of numbers uh, and a value p. And our goal is to form p pairs in such a way that the maximum difference between any two number in uh, a pair is as small as possible. So sound tricky, right? But don't worry, we'll break it down step by step. So I have a visualization of uh, first example. So uh, given uh, array with values 10, 1, 2, 7, 1, and 3, we need to solve it. So uh, we match uh, the pair uh, to create uh, the smallest difference. So for example, green pair is uh, index 1 and index 4. So it's 1, 1, and difference is uh, 0. And second pair is uh, at index 2 and 5. So it's number 2 and number 3. And uh, the difference between those number in absolute term is 1. And we need to uh, find the minimum uh, between uh, differences of two pairs. So in this case, uh, because p is two, so just two pairs, so difference between one and zero is one, so we output one. Yeah, uh, and output is one, so all good. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, dive into approach. So the essence of our approach involves two main techniques binary search and grid algorithm. So first, uh, let's define our helper function can form per. So this function will determine if we can create p pers with a difference less than or equal to a given value uh, mid. So helper function to check if we can form papers uh, with a different less than or equal to mid. So def can form per mid count will be zero and i will be zero. And while while i less than len num minus one and count less than p if num i plus 1 uh, minus num i less than or equal mid then count will be plus 1 and i plus 2 else i plus 1 and return count equal p so and then we have our mine binary uh, search function uh, logic. Okay, so uh, we are iterating over the sorted number uh, in our array. So if two consecutive numbers have a difference less than mid, uh, we pair them. And this is the essence of our greedy approach. And uh, we have our uh, can form a per helper function and if we can form uh, the required p pairs using our current meet value, then uh, meet is feasible. And we continue our search. And now uh, let's go to the main logic. So uh, we will apply a binary search on a possible uh, maximum difference. So this search space uh, ranges from uh, zero to the difference between the largest and smallest value in our sorted array. So basically we need to uh, sort it as well. So here we go. Uh, we will define our search space and uh, in each iteration, we will check uh, if the current mid allow us to form the required parse using our uh, helper uh, function. So num sort low, high, zero, 
num minus 1 minus num 0 and while low less than high mid will be low plus high divided by 2 we found remainder so classic binary search and if can form mid then high will be mid else low will be mid mid and return low it's that's fine so let's run it so yep all good uh, and probably here okay so uh, everything work uh, as uh, implemented so uh, if we can form per our mid uh, might still be too large so we continue like in normal binary search uh, for a smaller value and if not our mid uh, is too small and we adjust our search space uh, accordingly so uh, this solution is a great example to showcase the power of combination of different uh, algorithms the binary search uh, for efficient narrowing down a potential maximum difference while the greedy algorithm ensure we are always forming the optimal per for each uh, candidate uh, differences so uh, as you can see our code works uh, perfectly and remember the key takeaway here is to understand the technique and knowing when to uh, apply them so let's run it for unsynthesis cases as well uh, so hopefully it will pass yeah so all good and we beat 87 percent with respect to runtime and also 78 with respect to memory even though uh, it took uh, quite uh, a time so <laughs> 967 milliseconds and for example rust implementation took just 20 uh, milliseconds and also 10 times less uh, memory so 31 in python and uh, in rust just three and a half i think python was the slowest this time but yeah so that's it for today's session i hope you found this uh, breakdown uh, insightful and yeah if you want to check uh, out the solution in other programming languages i have dropped the link uh, in the description below and remember to hit the like button share and subscribe for more coding uh, challenges tutorials and much more and happy coding and see you in the next one.